Good morning, guys, and thank you for joining me for another What I Eat in a Day as a Vegan on Slimming World. If you're new, my name's Leanne. Hi, nice to meet you. And if you're coming back, as always, thanks ever so much for doing so. Appreciate you. <laughs> Today is Wednesday. That means it's way day and therefore minimal intake until I weigh. Uh, as always, no, that was as always. Clearly, I'm starting off well. <laughs> Um, yeah, so last week was a very hopefully anomalous two pound gain. I didn't, um, I mean, I ate really late in the day and drank a lot. And later on, I was back down to where I was expecting to be. However, by then it was a bit too late. So my <laughs> record now has a two pound gain on it, which is really annoying. Um, I'm feeling quietly confident that I have got rid of that and hopefully a little bit more but we'll see later so anyway let's get on with the day and see what happens okay this is a lot later than i'd intended but it's been a busy morning um so it's currently one o'clock <laughs> um just gone one and i'm only just having my breakfast pitta um and my second coffee of the day um so yeah i mean not ideal, but there is still a few hours to away, so I think we'll be good, she said, hopefully. Um, 100 mils of Alper Almond Barista in each of my coffees, there's ones in each. Usual, four rashes of the Richmond Streaky um, Vegan Bacon for three sins. Loads of mushrooms for speed, I promise, they're hiding in there. They're all at the bottom today. And uh, Warburton Soft Whole Wheel Pitta for my healthy extra B choice. Hi guys, please ignore my hair. I'm really cold <laughs> and keeping my hair tucked in keeps me warmer. Um, okay, so I'm back from Sewing World. This is a highly unflattering lighting situation. Where are we? That's better, kinda. Nope, that's iBag Central. Okay, whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, so first things first, out Sewing World. If you remember two weeks ago, um, I got my two and a half stone certificate um, and they spelt my name wrong. So tonight I asked my consultant, um, well, I mentioned it to her and she gave me a new one. So I'm really pleased about that. Secondly, I reached my first interim goal, which I think was probably my 10% um, goal. So kind of hand in hand then. I got my Club 10 certificate, which means I've lost 10% of my body weight. I'm really pleased at that. And I also got an award certificate for reaching my interim goal. So that was really nice too. Um, so I'm really pleased about that. And now what you've all been waiting for is the amount of weight I lost today. Well, not today, but you know, um, in the last week. And that was seven and a half pounds. <laughs> so <laughs> quite a large one. Um, However, like it's not like I need to get excited about it because, you know, I put on the the two last week, so take that off, that leaves five and a half. So actually across the two weeks, that's an average of just over two and a half pounds a week, which is a good couple of weeks weight loss, but it's not like, wow. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with that though, because I am now only one and a half pounds away from my three stone award, which obviously I'm hoping to get next week. I'm actually aiming for four pounds this week. Um, we had the discussion in group about aiming high, etc. So um, yeah, me and another girl, were both gonna go for four pounds, aim high and hope we get there. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm in a really good mood because it always feels really, really good to achieve stuff. And coming home with two new certificates is always a good feeling. <laughs> and um, yeah, to know that like losing 10% of your weight is like quite a significant milestone. And that's why they celebrate it at Slimming World, if you don't know. Um, it's because basically that's what like doctors say is like, like whatever size you are, assuming you're overweight that is, um, whatever size you are like overweight, <laughs> Um, losing 10% of your body weight brings significant health benefits, um, you know, lowers risks of various nasty things happening. I don't know what, I'm not a doctor. Um, I'm assuming it's stuff like heart things and all nasty things that I really don't want to think about. But the point is, I've now got less chance of this, 
because I've hit that number somewhere in there. I don't know exactly where I hit it, um, but I did. So happy days. So yeah, seven and a half pounds in one week is quite mad. But as I said, it's like, it is skewed because of course um, uh, of the anomaly last week. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased. <laughs> so fun story. <laughs> It's not a fun story at all. Um, I <laughs> I had a, a, a little um, overexcited munch <laughs> um, and basically I, I stopped in the shops on the way back. Well, you know, while I was still out, should I say, and um, just grabbed a, a few little bits, but um, I was really hungry and I was really fancying something salty. Um, so I bought one of those bags of lentil chips. Um, <laughs> and I ate the whole thing. Um, and I've just worked out the sins because I didn't work out the sins before I did it. And they are a bit higher than I thought they were gonna be. <laughs> so, they is a 95 gram bag. They're five and a half sins for 25 grams. So I divided 5.5 by 25 using calculator because I'm not Einstein. And then I times that by 95 and it came out at 20.9. So essentially 21 sins for that big bag. Um, and <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I don't actually regret it <laughs> because I really enjoyed them. Um, but I deliberately bought a big bag and not like a multi-pack of the smaller bags because then it just lingers. And there's always the chance that I would have had like one now, but then like four another day, because that's that's how I roll. So I'm better off just buying one thing, having it get out of the way, whatever. Anyway, the point is it was 21 sins and um, obviously I get 25 a day, but <laughs> um, I had two coffees and of course my breakfast pitta and in total those make five sins. So I am one sin over, which is fine, except that I need to have my tea. <laughs> still <laughs> um but honestly i'm not really hungry because those lentil chips filled me up um but we need some vegetables so um luckily i did i was gonna have um the last portion of that chili adjacent thing that i made the other day but um i i don't really want it and it's gonna be wasted on me and also it's three cents um, I do have tagine left from last night, quite a small portion. That's sin free, but I don't fancy that. I literally just want some vegetables because I feel a bit unhealthy because of having like, you know, salty chips, basically. So um, I'm just gonna do super plain stir fry. Well, not super plain. So I picked up um, as well two of the, I've been all over the place today, <laughs> I swear. Um, as in all over town, like multiple times as well, stupid. Anyway. So um, I also went in Sainsbury's and I got two of my favourite stir fry packets. Um, so if you've been here before, you know that I like the, um, what are they called? Taste the Difference uh, baby vegetable, uh, stir fry vegetables. So um, they have garlic, ginger and chilli already in them. And um, they're really, really good. So, and they're really nice vegetables in there. There's like seven different types of vegetables. And the nice ones like tender stem broccoli, baby corn. They've got like carrot ribbons. They've got, uh, I think green beans, courgette, like baby courgette. Other stuff I can't remember. I think they've got coriander in there as well, actually. So they're really flavoursome. They're really good. Um, so if I cook them, not in oil. Okay, so if I cook them just in some water, I guess, water saute them. I hate doing that when it's stir fry, it's crap. Um, I may use a tiny bit of fry light just to help it get going. And the only reason I do that is because my pan is on its way out. I've said this many, many times. Um, so yeah, I think I'll do that. And then, um, I don't even know if I'm going to bother with the protein with it because honestly, I'm not that hungry. Um, like I said, those lentil chips filled me up, but I really feel the need to have some vegetables because I'm very aware that like, I just feel crap. You know, you know, you just need vegetables. Like, I don't know. Does anyone else have the same like vegetable addiction that I do? Um, yeah, I always regret it if I don't eat enough veg in a day. I always feel like crap. So anyway, there we go. I'm going to make them somehow and I'll tell you how afterwards.
I just had a genius idea. Instead of doing a water saute, I'm gonna use my super duper non-stick pan. Um, these are smaller, but if I'm only doing the vegetables, it's fine. So that's one lot. And also this is the pan I used this morning for my bacon and mushroom. So perfect, less washing up. And then, so this is the actual stir fry. I don't know if I ever actually show you the packet of this one, <laughs> um, even though I talk about it quite a lot, because it's just so nice. It's such a good selection. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, what does that say? Pak choy, sugar smack peas, warming chili, blah, blah, blah. The actual answer is pak choy, baby corn, courgettes, carrots, salad, onions, fine beef, sugar snap peas, coriander, garlic, ginger, and chili. There we go. So, yummers. Okay, here we go. So as it turned out, that pan wasn't great because it was too small and I threw it everywhere. And also I couldn't mix it round enough so some stuff cooked too much and others not so much. <laughs> Um, but anyway, it's fine. We got here. Um, I added a, a little bit of white rice vinegar and a slightly larger amount of reduced salt soy sauce. Um, and that helped sort of deglaze the pan and get everything back together. So, um, yeah, totally sin free. Um, and obviously a decent amount of flavour because it's got these sort of, um, what's the word? Aromatics in there. So, all good. Hey guys, so it is at the end of the day again, and um, well, we've already discussed sins today, so I'm finishing on 26 sins, so one over, I guess that's fine, <coughs> excuse me, do you want to see my diary for the day? There's not much in it, ta-da, but I did put all the stickers on it, <coughs> excuse me, okay, so breakfast was absolutely bog standard, what I pretty much have every day. Um, a giant bag of lentil chips, um, putting me one sin over, and of course, um, then just a load of veg for tea. Oh, that's it. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, so I've given myself a positive sticker, um, because I felt like I deserved it today, uh, even though. I <laughs> scoffed a whole bag of crisps. Well, lentil chips, whatever. Close enough. Anyway, so, um, yeah, seven and a half pounds off. So, so, so happy to get back on track with that. Um, I just need to aim for four pounds next week. I've only got a pound and a half to get my three stone award, which is very exciting. Um, so, what could I do for, like, my little prize to myself. I was sort of thinking maybe, and this is only a thought, but I thought maybe I could go to a salon and take mum with me as well as a treat for her because I know she hasn't done this before either, but maybe we could go and get our nails done. Like I know me and her, like neither of us would want like false nails, but maybe we could get like gel. Is that Am I saying the right thing? I don't even know. But like gel nails, you know, where they paint them and it stays on for ages. And like get, you know, just have like a, man a manicure, basically is what I'm saying. <laughs> but with like some really pretty nails, like that would be such a treat, wouldn't it? So that was the only thing I can sort of think of um, that isn't like another stationary object. <laughs> Um, and I thought that would be like, a, that's like a proper treat because that's not something I would ever do. Um, so, I don't know, what do you guys think? My only thing is like, I did do a little search earlier because I was thinking about it earlier and I did do a little search to see, and I searched on vegan nail salons, but I didn't know if that's the right thing to search. Um, so if any of you do get um, like manicures, get your nails done or anything like that. Can you just tell me <laughs> what I need to search for? Because I haven't got a clue. Um, and the more I sort of think about it, the more I think that I would quite like that treat. And like, I'll take mum as a treat as well. Um, although I suppose I'm sort of assuming it doesn't cost like hundreds of pounds. <laughs> um, okay, right. Any information you guys can tell me would be very useful in the comments. And most importantly, really, is uh, finding one that's like vegan products. Because I was a bit worried, because I in my search, a local one did come up, like one in my town. But 
that was on the vegan search but then the first thing it said on their site was shellac and I'm like well that's not vegan so and then like it didn't really have a lot of information on there so it just put me off straight away you know um but I mean yeah like if oh I just got all panicky thinking about like going somewhere so public but like maybe I could go up to Stroud because I'm sure they'll have a lot more options up there because obviously it's a big town um and also Stroud is you know known for hippies and vegans and all that kind of stuff um yeah I haven't been to Stroud for ages but as you guys know I'm a recluse now although getting less so um I'm definitely feeling a bit more confident in myself I'm really glad that I've been making all these small changes because um it's definitely improving things um although <laughs> although I ha <laughs> no don't worry actually uh it, it maybe medically helped as well <laughs> um but yeah that's that's fine um anyway so yes um yeah nails would be good like because I'm desperate to cut my nails off because like every now and then when they get like this long maybe a bit longer I want to cut them off like earlier I caught this one and I bent it right back so I just tore it off because I was so irritated but like like I've got decent nails and my mum always has really lovely nails but my problem is I just can't ever be bothered, with the, be bothered filing them and also I hate it when they get too long because they just get in the way so um I always like they get to like this length and then I just cut them off <laughs> and we start again um but yeah they grow nicely um so yeah I don't I don't know do I Oh, I don't know. But anyway, give me information about nail stuff. That would be really, really nice. Um, and then, like, hopefully... No. And then I will reach my three stone next week. And then, like... How exciting. Maybe make my nail thing a reality. Although I'm scared because, like, if you get them done, do you have to then, like, always go back and get them done? How does it work? <laughs> This is the thing, like, everyone assumes that, like, you know about this stuff, like, when you look on websites and that, and it's like, I don't know anything about this, like, about nail stuff. Like, I like the patterns that people do and stuff like that, and it would be really cool to have, like, a little pattern on them that's going to last for ages and, like, not chip off. Yeah, I know that about gels, and you put them under UV light and whatever, but, um, yeah. I don't know how it comes off again. Mm. Okay, right, cool. Well, um... Should we leave it there? We can leave it there. Although I have been doing some more in my bullet journal. Nothing exciting. Um, just uh, I decided to go ahead and set up the rest of my weekly spreads for June. And I've just left a few pages in between. Do you want to see? Okay, so obviously I've already shown you guys my week one spread. Um, and then I had a second page um I don't think I showed you guys this one I can't remember if I did this tonight or not but I had it planned out before that anyway so um this is how I intend to incorporate <laughs> meal planning forcing myself to have a space specifically for it um so the idea being every single week I do an inventory of my fresh stock it doesn't have to be all those different categories and whatever it doesn't have to be every single thing I have. It's basically just the stuff that needs using or that I need to remember I've got. For example, if I've got like 10 tofus, then it's fine that I don't need to buy any tofus. I've got ink all over my nail. Um, and then, um, yeah, and then meal plan is not so much a plan. It's more like a few meals that I would like to make that week. And then obviously shopping list. Um, and then this is obviously a load of um, my Tipex tape because uh, I, it, this, originally I had something behind this that had soaked through basically. So, um, and it was looking really mucky. So I thought, oh, I know, I'll just put a load of Tipex tape on it. Um, I will say it shows up a lot more on camera than it does in person, um, just cause the light's glinting off it. But yeah, it's not so bad. Um, and then I, I was playing around because um, me and mum quite often on a Saturday morning when she comes over for coffee, we quite often um, play Scrabble. Um, so I was playing around with like a Scrabble setup. I think I showed you guys 
my one from the other week that I played around with to use up my last page, my last spare page in May. Oh, don't look at mum, she doesn't like it. Um, so that was how I was playing around with it. But then like, um, yeah, uh, it leaves a lot to be desired. So that was quite fun to play, but we'll go from there. Um, but I like the idea of having a little photo to like commemorate it. So I'm gonna like do that every every time we do it. So yeah, I was just playing around with like a layout for what it might look like. I'm not gonna pen it in until the actual time, but um, that may well end up being like the first page for most weeks. And then I've got a double spread free for um, anything else. Why does that feel, that's really odd. It feels like there's something on this page, but there's not because it's a brand new page. Like it literally feels like there's, maybe it's on my hand, no, there's nothing on my hand. How bizarre. It felt like there was like Tipex or something on there. I don't know. Anyway. So then I've just been setting up the actual, um, just the basics for the next few, for, well, for the, all the other weeks in June. Um, so it's effectively a four week month in terms of calendar month, calendar weeks. Um, so for each week, I like highlight the, the week it is on here. And I also write week two up there. Um, and then basically I've just done this exact um, well, you know, roughly the same layout for each. They're all in different places, the leaves and that, and the dark and light green is in different places because, you know, it's nice to mix it up and not be exactly the same, but essentially the elements are all there. So that means that each week um, I've got a lovely space to do an illustration here, illustration here, and a quote in the middle because I do quite like that from my week one layout um so i'm going to look up some more quotes and then maybe have a similar thing in the middle maybe not don't know we'll see because that's the fun of having it there to do every um every time so um yeah so there's week two and then we've got the inventory and shopping list and meal plan and then a spare page probably for scrabble i was really stupid and i kept closing the page on the ink that was still wet because I forgot that it was gel pens I was using um, and they take a moment to dry because they've got really obviously high viscosity so that's irritating but I thought don't um, I'm res I didn't put Tipex all over them because I thought it might make it more obvious so I'll just cover it up like when I um, when I do whatever I'm going to do on this spread um, and again, we've got week three looking very similar. Did the same thing there, how annoying, and the same thing there. Um, I'm sick of drawing Monstera leaves though, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, they're so tedious now that I've done them. And every single one of all these things, I um, had to do the shape of the leaf in pencil first. I only do the outline and then like do the detail in pen straight on it, but Oh, so irritating. Um, then having to go along and rub it all out. It, oh, nightmare. Anyway, I've just noticed that I've managed to get green on that bit because this corner of this leaf was giving me trouble. <sighs> there we go. Um, yes, thrice it gave me trouble, which is irritating, but there we go. Anyway, and then uh, on to week four where I was getting really fed up. I was trying to do this cool writing that I see people do. I really like it. Um, I don't really think it went very well, but it was good to practice and try it. So, yeah. So anyway, so I'm feeling good about that because I've, so I've got all the like base elements down, all the things that I wanted to do the same with the same pens, all that kind of stuff. And that means that I've then got creative free reign <laughs> for for the rest of the um the decorative bits for Jean so yeah I'm happy with that um I've been watching bullet journaling videos again this evening some people are so talented I swear they do watercolor like beautiful cover pages and all sorts and here's me with my coloring pencils but <laughs> Do you know what? It's okay. Like we do what we can do. 
Um, and you know what? I'm I'm not mad at how this looks. It's not perfect, and it could be a lot cleaner, but it's also quite joyous to look at because like it's got lots of nice colors and I think I've done a nice combination of like using pre-made stuff like the stickers and stencils and scrapbook paper and washi tape um and then doing freehand stuff and you know decoration so I think this is quite a good page to actually show all of the different types of things that you can do but except for this but <laughs> that was literally I had to had to put them up there there was there was no choice anyway cool okay right so let's let's leave it here and um i'll bid you adieu thank you so much for watching cannot believe i lost seven and a half pounds that is just insane um i would have had slimmer of the week if i hadn't had my anomaly last week so that was annoying um oh yeah but i lost nine and a half pounds in total in um whatever this month was may that's what she told me. So I think I was second in line for Slimmer of the Month. There's this guy in our group who just always loses loads. Like literally, he's only weighed in for the last two weeks and he's lost a stone. It's very irritating, <laughs> but he's so lovely, no one cares. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, so I will uh, just realise that I need to add that to my weight loss graph. So I'm going to do that now <laughs> and then I'm going to go to bed because it's really late. Okay, bye!